When you go into the NICU for the first time, you may notice some things are different than in other areas of the hospital. Maybe the lights are a little lower. Hopefully the room is a little quieter. What you're looking at are some of the ways that we try and provide developmentally appropriate care for your baby in the intensive care nursery. Developmentally appropriate care is based on knowing that there's a dramatic difference between life in the womb and life in the NICU. In the womb, the baby experiences mostly darkness. There's not a lot of invasive light. There is the muffling, protecting sound of amniotic fluid all around the baby. The baby hears the rhythmicity of your heart rate. It's very comforting to the baby. Uh, the baby is protected from a lot of environmental stress. But with birth, and especially with admission to the NICU, suddenly that world changes dramatically for your little baby. Suddenly there's bright light all around. There's noise of monitor, people noise, equipment noise. You will have people talking over the bedside. The baby will no longer feel the warmth and softness of amniotic fluid. We'll be laying on a mattress, so warmed and, and certainly comfortable is very different environmental experience. Your baby may also have the experience of pain. And we try very, very hard with a lot of different methods to try and minimize the amount of pain your baby experiences. But this is a totally different world. And what we have to remember is that it's during this period of time that your baby continues his neurodevelopment, the way his brain works and his body works, the way he interacts with his environment. Your baby doesn't have a lot of muscle tone, a lot of strength in his muscles. So you'll see the nurses surround them with positioning devices that keep them in what we call physiologic flexion, all nice and tucked up, hands, knees to the midline, everything rounded out, just like he would be if he were in utero. We think that's very, very important for his long-term development, especially around muscle tone and what we call motor function, the way he uses his arms and legs. We try really hard to keep the noise down. And if we forget, you have to help remind us. It's really easy to get talking loud. And some units have different mechanisms to trigger us whenever that happens. I've been in intensive care nurseries where a strobe light or a red light will go on if our voices or the environmental noise goes above certain decibels. That can be very, very discomforting to your baby. Lights are turned down. We need to have a certain amount of light around the bedside to do what we do. But we'll try and definitely shield those bright lights that might be uh, really startling your baby to some degree. And all of this is trying to make sure that we uh, maximize your baby's neurodevelopmental outcome. Developmental care is one of the most exciting things I've seen in the NICU in my lifetime, that we've moved from this bright, invasive, loud, intensive care to a much more nurturing, supportive environment where parents are co-creators of what we're going to do with their baby and how we're going to care for them every day. If you have questions about developmental care, find someone in the NICU and ask them some questions. There are certainly all kinds of reading materials and websites available that you can learn more about this important strategy.